Hey everybody, Arka here. Welcome to the first round of the 12th season of Five Aside, a 1v1 and 2v2 tournament where multiple teams of, I think, five or six, six or seven, already losing track, uh, go against each other for multiple weeks, and by the end of the tournament, uh, the team with the most points wins. I am on 1v1 duty this week. And it's going to be a set of five games. Game one is United States Manual Progressive. Unfortunately, this is a tournament that does a lot of uh, manual. Oh my gosh, this <laughs> that continent is a little nasty. A lot of these. Uh... Settings in five aside are going to be manual pick here, balance blitz. Going second to start things off with very unfavorable blizzards for player two against uh, all of XC, uh, multiple 1v1 world champion winner. As if he needs these blizzard advantages, my gosh. Weirdly, I think. Here might be best. I don't know. This seems terrible either way. <laughs> but yeah, so it's a five game set. We got three world dom settings and two cap settings. There's a turn order rule for both the world dom and the caps. So one person goes first two out of three times in the world dom, and then the other, and then we split the caps games up. And he goes there. Interesting. We'll go up here. This blizzard combination is nasty. So this whole pocket here is a two-point hold. Through here. Three bonuses on a two-point hold with the blizzards. <sighs> I don't want... Ideally, I don't want to pick any of those three remaining in that bonus, but I'm probably going to be forced to pick at least one. Now, funny enough, even though I've played against all of a decent amount of times in free-for-all over the years, and in 2v2, I don't think I've played against him yet in a 1v1 set. We've always managed to not get paired up in the uh, main server 1v1 World Championships and other bracket type of events. Ah, oh, boy. Let's go down here in Texas. Almost all bonuses covered. This is just going to come down to the middle being plugged up.
But yeah, with all these turn rules, it's just uh, one point per win towards the team's total. And I think I have all the rules covered. There is a draw rule, but that's probably only possible in the Cavs games if we get that type of stalemated situation. Uh, all of these spots are terrible. <laughs> Guess I gotta get the roll over with. Uh, let's pick this spot and connect that over there just because to pick one less territory in the center. That might not be worth, but it's looking pretty doomed either way. I think I need to have him take Kentucky there. Yeah. I'm pretty much forced to pick in the middle here because if I pick either side, he can just take the other side and hold with a decently strong guard he's got the hope he tries to do a hero predict on one of the far sides I guess but 
at this point, I guess I'm just hoping for some balance blitz defense dice. And yeah, here it is. 26, 5, 4. 24 v 22. It's in the 80% range, I think. 80 to 85. Yeah, gets a good roll. Can clean that whole pocket. Takes two bonuses and knocks me under. This is probably game. Because I need to break both of these, and I can't really do too much else. Ah. <sighs> Hitting him twice more because I lost a troop won't knock him under. Gotta move back here. Steel gets eight. Gets really crappy dice, but probably still fine for him. Uh, this one's worth more. Eh, got it. But he just clears up that whole middle. And he has four bonuses. I'm only getting three troops. <laughs> Just lose all three of those, get the bad dice out of the way. <laughs> But yeah, well played by Olive. Not too much I could do there with those that blizzard formation. But now we move on to Dino World in game number two. Alright, game number two on Dino World. Okay, Olive goes first again, and he has a pocket in the bottom right. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Fan flippin' tastic. So that access to this bottom area is going to be something I have to constantly worry about. He probably picks. That territory in the bottom right. Uh, makes me go there. We go there. Uh, I don't think either of these are a forcing move, so we will go here.
spot up there. Got all the bonuses covered except for the middle two plus fours. Where did he even go? Oh, up there. Ah, man. Guess I go in the middle of this bonus. Seems like the best option. And the portals make it so I can't really do a counter bonus play. Unless if I go for the North America. North America one, but I'd be holding plus three. That doesn't seem that ideal. Hmm. Picks a spot up north. I think I'll go here. Try and force him to pick something over here. If he doesn't go there, I can go there and then force him to either pick a portal or let me hold the bonus. Is something I'm fine with doing. Don't pick the portal just yet. I do it now.
That way when he goes to roll my stack, he at least has to commit some troops. for this bonus. Hmm. Leaves me a spot where I have to connect myself anyways. Yeah, well played. I think... I think I just have to take the good, uh, hope for the good defense dice again, because I can't really get down there from any other position. There we go. I need him to hopefully lose a bunch on this and not be able to break. So 28 on 23. I don't think it's 100. Nice! You got bad dice? Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Wait a minute. Things are looking up now. Uh, if I leave everything else, that's 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I think it's worth trying to clear the pocket. That's it. Yeah! <laughs> uh, why are we doing manual pick? We may as well be skipping all this. But it's one-to-one -one now, and I have to go first in this next Jules Verne game coming up here. Alright, game number three. Jules Verne. Hopefully we don't have to restart with the turn order rule. Alright, nice. And oh, okay. Interesting, interesting blizzards here. I think I still take this first. It's a good old default choice.
And then I will go down there. And I'll choose that spot. <clears throat> goes there while he can. Looking for a, a north heavy type of game here. Choose that there. So I let him take that, I'll probably forget to break. Gotta remember my <laughs> my own limitations sometimes. Because of this blizzard connecting up all of those should be okay. He's allowing me to fill up the middle. Could be falling into something, but I'm curious. Okay, he does take that spot.
we do pick that spot now. Because all the rest are starting to be in that every choice is bad type of spot here. And where does he make me choose? Probably the middle. No, it makes me choose there. Interesting. So it's a, now it's a 50-50 between him stacking behind me in the plus four or in the plus five. Slash up here, because it'd be that spot or that spot? And both spots counter, okay. So it is looking to be a 50-50. Damn, and I lost it. Nice. Okay, we went pretty positive on those slow rolls. Lost nothing on the three. Let's see what his dice are on the five.
depending on what they are on the five is going to determine a lot here. He is going around, so he won't have a 100% roll on the five. He's going there. Now he's got to go. This is it. Oh, he lost that. Okay, so I'm still blah, still on 18. Uh, I think I go from here. two back there we got a wild card lost nothing on the two shit but I'm still on six Nice. That's under a hundred percent if he wants to break through the two. Does get it though. But we did gain a territory. Don't think trading is necessary, just in case he has a trade on three, and that'll save our wild card. No need to risk that. We'll move that back. So now he has to win a four on three or go the long way around. He lost a troop. Nice. Oh, barely held out. Him winning the 65 blitz almost got it there. If he had won that two on one, that would have taken that bonus, knocked me under 18. And then I wouldn't have been able to do what I did there. Very close dice in the end. The slow rolls did help. All right, up two to one, going into the Caps games now. All right, game number four. Uh, we're playing Simple World Caps. Manual progressive as always. We ah oh, flipping ah. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so he, since he's going first in Simple World, that means I have to go first on Brazil Caps next round. And this Blizzard setup is a pain in the butt. He goes mainland Europe anyway, so he's just going for a two-point hold on the north. Not sure. <laughs> Pick the US. Make it a bit annoying. Uh, hmm.
Uh, this is all going to come down to the prediction mind games off this troop deployment phase here. And so far, he's basically predicted everything I've done. <laughs> so, we'll see if the dice have our back again. Does go North Africa. I have to choose one of these that I don't want to. I'll just take the middle of Asia. I don't really have much spots to hide anymore. I'm going to gamble by placing a lot exterior. Trying out another luck based tactic. Ah, needed a little bit more. All right, twenty three on twenty. Yes, okay. That's super good. That is super good. So he is basically locked now with his cab in North Africa. Holy, that's super good. So we need four here to break. Couple here to do that. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. That's fine. I already got lucky with the, uh, Ooh. 
I already got lucky with the uh, defense here in North America. So he's got a four, a four. And where does he fortify that? All right, fair enough. I think we don't bother with the slow rolling here. Because we are now generating more. More per turn. Move it there. It'll be a seven on four if he wants to blitz it. Okay, not bad. Put two on the cap just in case he goes for the cap hit. And I'll move that three up. That's playing it the most safe. Plus two in South Africa, and a plus two in mainland Europe. have to get rid of the wild card, which is annoying.
gonna try and stay as annoying as possible. We do have a set on four. Okay, wins the five on two. Immediately moves back. We are getting eight. Plus a 46. I don't think that's high enough to warrant a cap hit. Okay, nice. Pretty good defensive dice. I think there's a two left over down here. The two on thirty is not quite good enough. Nice, we hold an A. Don't have a set on three, but that should be fine. He lost it again. No set on four. No. Ah, oh, that's not high enough. I don't think. Damn. Set on five coming in. If I had a trade there, I would have gone for the cap hit, but I did not. Still looking good. Especially with these dice he's been getting.
Wild card. There we go. Nice. Sandy doesn't break. This should be enough. That's a hundred. Good game. Oh, <laughs> okay. Got very lucky on the North America defense. But after that point, I think I played that one pretty well, comparatively to the others at least. So we're up 3-1 going into the final game on Brazil. All right. Game number five, gonna be Brazil Caps, and as for the turn order rules, I have to go first. And I do. Okay, these look like pretty good. This blizzard at the bottom looks pretty good for me. Although, this spot here doesn't seem bad. I'm not sure which is better, honestly. So it could go either way. I think we'll go here. I can go here, try and hold this bonus at the bottom, and then break through the top, assuming he does cap in Minas Gerais. is what he ended up doing. Um...
Okay, it does make me go there. Interesting. So he closes off his cap. do that. Does he go for the 42 on 27? <laughs> ah, he's gonna loop around first. Gonna be honest, to not fully see that path with that awkward connection. Lost six on the nine. <laughs> And now I'm kind of looking a bit screwed here. 32 on 19. That's uh, the same either way. Nice. Make him roll a 5 on 2 if he wants to clear that pocket out again. Now we appear to be doing a similar thing. I think I lose this long term. But the position seems okay for now. Goes for the six on six. Loses two, so he gets a card. This is the Dorado Aristo.
quite the standoff going here. Grand is so went even, not ideal. We'll move three off just in case he doesn't have a set on four. This gives him a favorable enough cap hit, then fair enough. He definitely played well to counter this setup here. He's probably doing the math. Probably not quite high enough to his liking, so he's just going to break instead. Okay, also went about even. Uh, one, two, three. the wild card. The 12 set. I think we're greedily going to try and save it. Damn it, I have to use it. Ah, no! Now, conversely, I could try to... Ooh, moves it all back. Uh, nah, no. Didn't get it there. OK. 
Good dice on the three as well. Here, I was hoping to do a set on five and do a miracle set on three. set we are on round 15 I'm up three to one and if I make it if I make it to the start of round 31 then that is a tie so that'd be three and a half to one and a half. Which, given the fact I've managed to get into a losing position here, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Because now my chances for a cap run hit are looking slimmer and slimmer. There's the wild. Look at the trades at 30. It's getting to the point where he can cap run me here. I think we go for the greed. Say with the eighty one. Because if he goes for this, it'd be what, fifty percent, sixty maybe. Using the nine with some manuals, he's gonna try. Good luck. Ooh, getting really good manual dice. Should be enough. I'll have definitely earned this one. I have no idea what these odds are. But it is around two times my size. Does get it. Well played. Maybe I should have brought my 30 back in. I have, to, I have to wonder what that blitz was, but either way, Olive did, des <laughs> Olive did deserve that for how well he played throughout the series, but we do get the overall win, three games to two, off of some very lucky dice. Uh, yeah, so that was first week of five aside, I'm assuming the uh, second one will be sometime next week, depending on the scheduling. Other tournaments still to come, of course. GG's again to Olive, and until next time, everybody, take care, and cheers for stopping by.